In this video, let's take a look at how to model this chocolate leaf that has some draft to get it out of the mold. And the model has been made available to you uh, through the Google Drive. So we start by drawing out a freeform curve with this tool. Roughly this kind of structure in terms of point count um, and once I've made these curves I'm going to extrude them with extrude curve tapered um, extrusion distance down in this case I have to uh, flip the angle here so that it is enlarging when extruding down seven units same for this curve you can see drafts inward so I need to flip it again here again seven units and the next step is to extend the surfaces in order to trim them just a little bit repeating the command with my spacebar and once that is in place I can select the two resulting surfaces and use trim to trim off the extents and now I have a closed boundary so I can join the surfaces and cap the result Now for the veins, let's hide this in a new layer. I'll do that in top view. Again, using the freeform curve, I'm extending a little bit outside of the shape. You will see later on why. And also I'm stopping not completely at the end. And I do the same using near object snap for the other veins. Um, by the way, Alt or Option in the in the Mac will temporarily disable object snap, as you can see. And I'll stop the video here and repeat for the other veins um, and then continue. So the next step is to make some thickness to these veins. I'll start with the main branch here using pipe and I choose round end caps starting with a 1.5 radius and ending with a 1 millimeter radius. Now for the smaller veins, I'm doing the same, but uh, starting with 1 and ending with 0.5. Again, I will stop the video here and do the other veins. Okay, so once that is uh, done, I can show back the leaf here. Let's switch to our perspective view. And I want to trim off the, the end of this vein. And I want to make it extending all the way up to this surface. For that, I need to explode the resulting leaf and extend surf on this uh, short surface here. Let's hide these surfaces for now. And then using trim again, I'll trim off the parts that I don't want to see in my model. And then I'm using this resulting surface to trim off the part of the leaf that I don't want. And then selecting this surface and trim off this part of the 
leaf that I don't need. Then I show back the result. Select all my surfaces and this poly surface and if everything has gone well I can join it into a closed poly surface. Um, let's hide all the veins and curves here. Now I'm going to add a fillet to the whole shape, all the top edges and uh, these side edges. Doing that with fillet edge. Like so. Hide back or show back the veins. And now by side I can join them using Boolean Union. And do again the same for these. And that more or less completes the shape. Let's take a look at it in uh, EMAP mode using kind of a chocolate environment map. And to see uh, how the draft on the shape uh, is in place, we can run a draft angle analysis in top view. So a good uh, draft should be at least three degrees. Let's say two degrees is a bad draft. And you see uh, only at the very ends of the intersections of the veins we have some um, vertical draft. But this won't be an issue at all when uh, doing vacuum forming. So um, this would be a good shape to start with uh, for vacuum forming.